Thank you for watching our video. My name is Rangel Daroya and we're from the University of the Philippines. This work was done under a Ched Picari project called AirScan. Rain, flexible mesh generation from point clouds. Representations of 3D objects have seen a lot of applications in several computer vision tasks. This is because it allows for high fidelity modeling for construction planning, risk assessment of infrastructures, and even restoration projects. Therefore, works have developed systems that can represent 3D objects either in the form of point clouds, occupancy grids, or meshes. However, the problem with point clouds and occupancy grids is that they can be sparse and can lack information to accurately model objects. When few images are given or available to reconstruct the 3D object, sparse point clouds can result from SFM. Despite existing works that try to overcome challenges in point cloud and occupancy grid representations, Meshes can prove to be a lot more efficient. Meshes are represented in a continuous space by the vertex locations and interconnections or edges to create a 3D object. When given only eight vertices of a cube, it is very hard to see the underlying object. The cube is better depicted once the edges and then the faces are in place to form the solid object. Even with sparse points, an object can be fully represented as long as there are necessary faces. For this reason, we'd like to focus on reconstructing surfaces from sparse point clouds to form meshes. The irregularity of meshes can make them challenging to form and process. Unlike images or occupancy grids that have regular grid-like structures, meshes have vertices embedded in continuous space and have varying face sizes. Although the current methods, Ball Pivoting Algorithm, or BPA, and Poisson Surface Reconstruction, or PSR, demonstrate ability to create meshes from point clouds, they struggle in reconstructing sparse inputs. BPA is limited by the proximity of points as the basis for forming surfaces. When the given points are sparse, BPA is unable to connect distant points. On the other hand, PSR determines the surface by casting the problem as a spatial Poisson problem. The formed surfaces are closed and continuous, but the algorithm fails to capture sharp edges and high curvature. To overcome the challenges presented by both BPA and PSR, we introduce RAIN, Recurrent Edge Inference Network. Inspired by graph RNN, RAIN builds a mesh from the point cloud using a bottom-up approach. This is the network architecture of RAIN. The mesh generation starts with an input point cloud. This point cloud is the input to an autoencoder where a latent vector representation is obtained. A pointnet-based autoencoder is used. Most of the information about the input points should be accessible from this latent vector Z, from which we should be able to infer the general structure of the target object. To make sure the input and output point clouds of the autoencoder are consistent, chamfer distance is applied as the loss function. The latent vector is concatenated to each point in the input point cloud and is processed by the state RNN. The state RNN continuously encodes the graph given the sequence of edge predictions and the latent representation of the point cloud input. At each time step, one point is introduced to the state RNN and edge RNN. The state RNN interacts with the edge RNN by modifying the hidden layer of the edge RNN. At this point, the set of input points should already have corresponding edges. Gated recurrent units, or GRUs, were used to both encode the mesh structure and to predict the sequence of edges in the state RNN and edge RNN. Supervised training was done for edge prediction with binary cross entropy as the loss function. After edges, faces are produced next using the facetize block. Facetize iterates over all the vertices in the predicted edges to form faces. As long as three points are connected by edges, a face is formed. After all those steps are done from generating vertices and then their latent vector representations, and then their edges, and finally the faces of the final structure, RAIN will have generated a mesh. In order to evaluate the performance of RAIN, ShapeNet and ModelNet 10 are used as benchmark datasets. All 10 classes from ModelNet 10 were used for the included train test split. Meshes from the datasets were pre-processed to obtain the convex hull of the objects that will serve as the ground truth. 
Convex hulls remove ambiguities for internal planes or structures and result to watertight meshes. Given the convex hull of the objects, three data set configurations were implemented to benchmark the performance of the network under different conditions. The first is the original convex hull of the meshes, or hull. The second is the butterfly subdivided meshes, or butterfly. And the third, finally, is the midpoint subdivided meshes, or midpoint. The hull setting involved training and evaluating the network on the original convex hull vertices of the meshes. On the other hand, the butterfly and midpoint configurations were applied to add more points to the set of meshes belonging to hull. Adding more points aims to approach a more uniform distribution compared to hull. Aside from single hull datasets, shape net meshes with multiple hulls are also examined. Multiple hulls are used to preserve the shape of the original objects. Two variations were considered for multiple hulls. The first is shape net wrapped, or wrapped, and the second is shape net patched, or patched. The wrap dataset was generated by wrapping the closest surface around the mesh. Blendering meshing was used to create a single continuous surface around the meshes. Rain was retrained and evaluated independently on this wrap dataset. In contrast, no retraining was done for the patch dataset. The network trained on ShapeNet wrapped was applied on the test split of the patch dataset. The patch dataset consists of several hulls of an object where each hull is independently processed by the network. With this process, the network should demonstrate the ability to reconstruct the mesh by processing the input by parts. To compare the performance of RAIN on the benchmark algorithms PPA and PSR, two metrics were used. The first is chamfer distance, and the second is point normal similarity. Chamfer distance is used to measure the accuracy of the surfaces formed. It uniformly samples points from the predicted mesh and compares it to uniformly sampled points in the ground truth mesh. On the other hand, Point normal similarity is used to measure the accuracy of the surface normals in the predicted meshes. The results illustrate that RAIN can predict mesh structures more accurately from the same input points. The shape net results show RAIN outperforming BPA and PSR in terms of chamfer distance and point normal similarity. The difference is more significant in the whole dataset. This is because the number of points and meshes belonging to the hull dataset are lower, resulting in poor BPA and PSR performance. The model net then results show that RAIN is mostly outperforming BPA and PSR. PSR performed slightly better for point normal similarity in the hull dataset of model net 10, but the difference in point normal similarity is outweighed by the large difference in chamfer distance. RAIN is shown to have consistent performance across the different datasets. Qualitative results also show RAIN outperforming BPA and PSR on the single hull datasets. The same can be said for ShapeNet wrapped, with RAIN producing outputs closer to the ground truth. Compared to RAIN, PSR predictions fail to capture sharp object features and produce closed and curved objects. On the other hand, BPA can form surfaces where vertices are present but is unable to cover the whole object. The evaluation of RAIN on the patch dataset illustrates mesh generation for point clouds with more than 500 vertices. The point cloud was processed by taking one cluster at a time, and for each point cluster, a mesh is produced. These submeshes are then put together to form the final output. This ability shows the potential of the network to extend to more vertices by processing one specific cluster at a time. Results on ShapeNet patch again illustrate RAIN's ability to represent both sharp and curved contours. Our network, in conclusion, can accept a flexible number of points as input and can reconstruct meshes with varying point distributions. Continuous feedback from previous predictions and incorporating the latent vector of the global structure improves the mesh generation process.